at all these pieces. 1,158 hours of 3D printing, 17 kilograms of protopasta filament across 376 pieces and all done in three and a half days. All of these pieces are for the Omni 2 Kickstarter from Crate 3D and once assembled will be this insanely cool modular designed briefcase that can hold all of your minis or whatever miniature things that you need a case for. And all of these were printed on the 3D printing nerd print farm. I've got no room to work, so I'm gonna get this organized and situated, and you're gonna take a look at what made it possible to print all of these in three and a half days on the 3D printing nerd print farm. Just at the print farm, ah. Here it is. It's 2.18 in the morning, and I've had 22 machines running nearly 24 hours a day to print what I thought was impossible. Building this briefcase is gonna be cool, and I have to tell you, High Five Blue was the right choice. So right now, let's build the briefcase. I have some instructions on my laptop. Some of the pieces need to be glued together. Sweet. Having a nice flat edge uh, to line up the parts does help, though I know that they're not finalized on the STLs, so they might add registration marks. We'll see. By the way, these are going together actually pretty easily. Yes. Okay, okay. What's that? Oh, yes. More gluing. B3, B3A, B3A, X. done Woo! with gluing done now it's time for the hardware and i've got screws and i've got nuts and we'll put them into pockets and screw things together we're close we're close to getting the briefcase done how exciting is this that is so cool this should be able to be the first screw that goes in Hot diggity. Noise. Slide this mechanism over. And this is where all the good stuff goes. So that, like I said, there's two parts here. There's the briefcase and then there's the modular drawers that go inside. Now that the briefcase is installed and really looking awesome, let's put it aside and let's talk about the modular drawers. I think you're gonna love those. Of course, these are protopasta filament boxes because protopasta supplied all of the material for this. So first, we need to start off with some corners. Ha <laughs> ha! So then something like this fits right in here. But remember, I told you, you could build a drawer that was slightly bigger. And why don't we do that? I wanna show you how you can take the modularity of these drawers and make them deeper. This massive one should fit. There we go. All the minis go in there. And then look, your extra large minis now protected. You bring this up, slide it across, and you've got one massive, massive carrying case. Yes! And just like that, we're done. We're done, we're done. We're, we're done. done. This is the Omni 2 from Crate 3D, currently on Kickstarter. It's kind of fun to put together. We kind of had a really good time with this. Yeah, I've, I've, I have, have since that time that you just saw, I've kind of assembled three drawers of my favorite <clears throat> minis and 
Do you want to see what I've loaded this with? Of course. Come on, let's do it. So it's got the little locking mechanism up here. We can't open it until we slide it across. And then first up, Starbursts! I loaded it with Starbursts. Now, before we dig into the Starbursts, I kind of want to talk about the print farm that made this entire thing possible. It is 18 different Prusa Mark 3S Plus 3D printers that I purchased long ago and have done lots of manufacturing fulfillment with, including this right here. Now, we had a tight deadline for all of the parts that I was gonna print, so I did enlist the help of a few other machines. There were the 18 Mark 3S Plus 3D printers. I also enlisted a Mark 3S Plus that I had added a Revo system to. I did enlist the help of the Prusa 10th Anniversary Mark 3S Plus. I did enlist the help of the Mark IV and its input shaper because running input shaping on that thing took one of the pieces from 50 hours down to 22. It was amazing. And finally, I enlisted the help of the Prusa XL. Now that the print farm is out of the way, we get to talk about drawer number one and starbursts. Drawer number two, Swedish fish! If you're going to a D&D session and you've got starbursts, you should probably also take along some Swedish fish. Drawer number three, we've got starbursts. We've got Swedish fish. Drawer number three is cheese. That's right, drawer number three, medium cheddar. Cheese. There we go. This is the Omni 2 from Crate 3D, currently on Kickstarter. The files you get will be updated to make these easier to remove from this. There are other configurations of this and things that can hold stuff. It's amazing what they put together. I've got a link in the description. Please go check it out. I implore you because I really think this is really cool. Thanks for coming along on this amazing journey. I got to talk to you about a project. I got to give you a look at my print farm and I got to eat cheese. What more could I ask for? If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, store your cheese in drawers, and as always, high five.